Hello everyone, my name is Katrina Cotton. I am a local Canadian actress, a voiceover artist, a model, social media influencer, news anchor, and a new first time mama. I am so happy to be here at the screening premiere of The Guardian. And of course, I just want to thank all the cast and the crew for having the dream to put themselves together to put it on to a nice big screen. So I'm just so ecstatic to be here and I'm just loving to see all these beautiful faces today. It is a beautiful Saturday afternoon as we await for our audience to come in to watch the screening of The Guardian. We are so excited. We are just so fanatic that we just can't wait to see this film on the screen. So if you guys are here, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you guys have missed out, don't worry, like I said, The Guardian will be premiering on a screen near you. Hello everyone, we are back here at the screening of The Guardian and I have this beautiful local Canadian actress. She has a lot to say and she may look familiar on a screen near you. So go ahead and introduce what your name is and what you do. Yeah, my name is Christine Robinson. I've been acting since a kid, took little breaks here and there, but overall was like, really excited to get back into it. Uh, currently I'm just working, uh, running a tutoring center, but if this goes well, hopefully we can see a little more of me on the screen. I love that answer. So of course, you did leave the main part out. Do you have an association with the film? Association such as... Are you in the film? Oh, of course. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mainly in the second half, I think it'll be. But yeah, there'll be a good amount. <laughs> oh, can't wait to see her. So a lot of people haven't seen the film. So how would you describe the film in three words? I would say creative. Oh my gosh, what else? I haven't even seen the film. Um, yeah, I'd say creative. Everyone works really hard on it, and so it's going to be really good payoff for that. It's, you know, a lot of body and soul into it. Um, I can't even think of another word. I don't know. Fun. I hope everyone who watches it has fun. Well, we just have to wait and see. Like I said, everyone is just watching the film for the first time, so we are in for a surprise. So, of course, being a local actress, giving a tip to other local actors out there, what would you say would be something that you struggled with but you overcame as an actress? I would say one big thing is getting a main role. You'll go through a lot of auditions, a really long process, but always just keep trying. You have nothing to lose by putting yourself out there, and so it's well worth just trying your best. I love that answer. You hear that, everyone? You know, you will have a few rejections, but it's okay. Keep that dream alive because someday you'll be here on the red carpet doing an interview and seeing your face on the big screen. So thank you so much for taking the time to answer questions. And are you excited? I'm very excited. Hopefully everyone else is too. Yes, we have a huge turnout. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll be cheering you on on the screen today. Hello, and we are back here at the screening and the premiere of The Guardian, and I am with one of the OGs who have been in the acting industry for quite some time. He is also in the movie, so go ahead and introduce you who you are and what role you play in the movie. Hi, I'm Brett Wise, and I am playing uh, one of the henchmen in the movie, so it's, uh, my wife's in it as well. We, uh, we're, we're, the, we're, the, we're the muscle, basically, is what we are. <laughs> The muscle. It's going to be, yeah, 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 the muscle, yeah. The real Bonnie and Clyde over here, that's for sure. Oh, my gosh, we love to see it. So, of course, being in the, in the acting industry for quite some time, what would be a key struggle that you had overcame, and what are you shining bright on in your acting career right now? <laughs> that rememorization of lines. <laughs> oh, yeah, that can give you uh, anxiety sometimes, you know, when you have a, a long monologue or whatever, and, and you're working with other actors, and... Uh, you know, if you're just, sometimes you just blank out a little bit and you're just, you know, looking for the, the dialogue and that's why I like to ad-lib a lot. Yes. <laughs> improv sometimes mm -hmm. is the way to go when you get into that situation and just sometimes the improvs actually turn out better. Oh, yeah. And that's, I love that. I agree. Like right now, we are improving as we go. So I yeah. love that. Pale, no, Pale knows all about my improving, <laughs> right? 
Yeah, we love that. So, of course, how would you describe the film from your point of view? Because I know we've had a lot of actors who came in here and I interviewed them. They gave us some key highlights, you know, and a little bit of teasers. But what would be um, something that you could describe the film for someone who's first time watching it? Action packed. Ooh. Exciting, action packed, uh, a lot of suspense, and a lot of, and there's some mystery in there as well. Who doesn't love a movie like that? Yes. So, of course, for everyone back home, how can we find you on socials? Ooh. If you have socials or a website. No, 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 I had to get off. I had to get off. You know what? I got off of social media. It's, it's too distracting. It's okay. I'm focused on other things in life. So uh, it, it was actually a blessing in disguise. So I, I, I freed up a lot of time. Yes, I love that, and that is correct. You don't always have to have a social media to make it big, because I'm going to tell you, I didn't have a social media for a few years, so that's all good. So we are excited to see the film and to see your face on the screen. Do you have any last words for any of your cast and crew? I um, just want to say it was a pleasure working with everybody on this uh, film. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun, I must say. So. Awesome. Well, you better run in there and get your seat uh, so you don't there. miss out on it. Thank you so much for taking the time to answer some Thank questions. We look forward to okay, seeing you. Okay. And of course, before we go ahead and watch The Guardian, we got to go ahead and give a big shout out to the director and producer himself. Let us welcome him in for our last interview. Thank you so much for taking the time to answer our questions. Of course, if you at home don't know who he is, go ahead and give us an introduction. Uh, I'm Pale Thomas. I'm the director and producer of The Guardian. Um, this was a extremely difficult movie for me to make in Canada, but uh, I somehow pulled it off. It was a lot of hard work, and I'm loving the result. Oh, I'm loving that answer. So for everyone at home or everyone who's just walking into the theater, give us three words to describe this movie. Uh, intense, action, and it's my movie's like a Christmas present. I'm not going to feed it to you on a plate. You literally have to watch it, but I tie everything together all the way to the end, but I keep you guessing the whole way. I love that. The suspense is real. I love that so much. So I've had a lot of people saying that there may be a number two in the works. So go ahead and tell us, is that a truth or is that a myth? No, that's that's a truth. Uh, the, the female lead in the uh, role would take over the second uh, chapter of the film. Wow, to be continued, everyone. So we are excited. We had a great turnout. Everyone that's walked into the theater is waiting. They're waiting to see the movie. Give us one key takeaway because you said that this movie was a little bit challenging. What was one challenge that you were able to overcome and now you're excited to see it on that big screen today? Um, yeah, we, we'll, we shot like 80% of the film and then we didn't have enough financing to finish it. So we took six months off and finally raised the financing and then we finished it. That was the biggest challenge. How are we going to finish it? So, But actually all that worked out because it took a whole new direction story-wise and now I'm really happy with the story. So. Oh, you guys heard that first? We would have never known because I'm telling you, this movie is top tier. Everyone who has came in here and I interviewed spoke excellent and highly about you and the movie. We are so excited to see it. And of course, if you are missing out on the screening of The Guardian today, you'll be able to see it at a screen near you. So go ahead and give us one last word that you would say to your cast, your crew, and just the journey of putting together The Guardian. You all did great. You did really good acting. I was really proud of that. And uh, yeah, I, I'm finally happy with the film. There you go. You heard it first from the big man the himself. Well, go on in there. And we are excited to see it. Finally. So thank you, everyone who came out, showed their support. And everyone's in the theater. And I'm going to run in and grab my seat here in a minute. <laughs> 